I'm heading out. I told Harley I would pick her up before the game. I yell out to my parents as I fly down the stairs. Hold up, babe. You got money? Dad asks, standing and walking toward me where I now stand at the bottom of the stairs. My father always wants to make sure I have money. Not because I'm a spoiled brat, but because he says he never wants me to be stranded. Mom confessed that it's secretly because he wants to make sure that if I decide to participate in sexual activities and the guy's not prepared, I have the cash to cover the condoms. My then-boyfriend Scott, who was two years older than me, and I were really close, and they feared that we might take the next step. I considered it, but I just wasn't ready. Scott was understanding and never pressured me. Turns out he was getting serviced from one of his sister's friends while they were home from college on summer break. Yep, I got my check in the mail today for tutoring and cashed it on the way home from school. You girls be safe. Curfew is midnight, he reminds me. You know it. I stand on my tiptoes and kiss his cheek. Bye, Mom, I yell out over his shoulder. Bye, sweetie. Have a good time. Drive safe she says as I'm rushing out the door. I climb into my Kia Sportage and head toward Harley's house. She and I have been best friends since she moved to town when we were in the sixth grade. We bonded over our love of school supplies. Seriously, I was obsessed and so was she. Most girls got excited about the new clothes, but not this girl. Give me the pens and cool pads of paper. I'm still a sucker for school supplies which makes it a given that my major next year at college is going to be education. I tutor three days a week after school, and I love it. When I pull into Harley's driveway, she's standing on the front porch waiting. We're both excited about tonight. Tomorrow night is the first football game of the season for our school, Montgomery High. It's a Saturday game since the hosting school is doing a big groundbreaking ceremony at their new field tonight. Hey! she says, opening the back door. She tosses her overnight bag into the back seat. 